Well, during the peanut harvest, researchers from land-grant universities and USDA are able to see what damage the pests and diseases did to crop yields, if any. Rick Trepto reports on two projects that help farmers grow more peanuts and improve the taste of peanut products. Farmers wait this time of year to see yields. For peanuts in the southeast, those fields that are dug are showing tonnage way above average. But they could have been damaged by a number of pests, including caterpillars, fall armyworms, and diseases such as white mold. White mold hurt yields in the southeast and Georgia in 2011. A University of Georgia Extension researcher has several years worth of data. But it was two very different years. Last year we were hotter earlier in the season, so we had a lot of white mold on very young peanuts. This year the white mold didn't come in until a more normal period, uh, probably middle of July. Late July, then August we had a lot of rain and white mold just exploded. The disease is not variety specific. Georgia producer's main variety is the relatively new Georgia 06G. It's very available, high yielding, and produces high grades. Dr. Brenneman sees no change in using it. 06G, however, has a major attraction to white mold. We had a lot of very early season sprays put out this year, and I think they're gonna still be beneficial probably not as dramatically beneficial as they might have been in 2010, 2011. So this is the first year we've had a quote, normal white mold year to really evaluate these very early season applications and see what they'll do. Both Georgia uh, 06 and Tifgard are very high yielding, especially the second harvest date, which is about uh, 158 days. Visitors on the Georgia peanut tour saw a field of test plots worked by southeastern researchers in collaboration with the National Peanut Lab. The wide range of work going on here benefits the entire peanut industry. Irrigation, peanut breeding, studies on diseases such as aflatoxin and white mold are continuing. The Dawson Georgia Labs research leader Marshall Lamb said he is working on the relationship of peanut maturity and flavor. What we're trying to do is to interrupt the flowering cycle on peanuts at prescribed times because the peanut is an indeterminate crop, therefore it flowers and fruits throughout its life. And if we can interrupt that cycle at a certain time and not have immature peanuts that get into the edible channels, we can have a better flavor of those peanuts that are mature. He said the study will require two more years to get consistent data and make conclusions. Will the federally funded finance lab have enough money? I hope so. Right now we've been fine this year. Um, we don't know about the budget next year. We'll just have to wait and see what happens there. Since much of this research is supported by taxpayer dollars, it may be a small price to pay for ensuring a high quality, safe commodity that can provide the most critical human nutrients needed worldwide. For the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Rick Trepto.